the database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator, and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3. The legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. The... that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, ooh, you could, but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off... Just pretend that never happens, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal, so don't be a dick. Unless that's your nature.
flinched. I thought maybe I'd imagined it, but I knew you'd heard me. You didn't say anything. You just checked your watch, you reached for your drink, you took a sip, and then you kept reading. But I knew I'd failed. You didn't say anything. I, I, I didn't understand why. And I lunged and tapped you on the shoulder, and you turned around, and, oh, fantastic, you said, and you scooped me up, and you gave me a big hug, and I didn't say anything, but Dad, Dad, I was so pissed off. I wanted to scream at you. I, I failed, and you knew it, but you said nothing. And I stayed mad for weeks. I thought you were, you, you were patronizing me. But maybe you decided right there that I was never going to be the man you wanted me to be. But I realized just a few years ago that you checking your watch, that was the clue, wasn't it? You let me win because I had been so patient. And I guess that impressed you. You know, maybe at that moment you thought it might be better to be my dad instead of my mentor. I, I don't really know. Maybe for you, they're, they're one and the same. You know, either way, I'm happy to know that both my mentor and my dad are looking out for me that day. I didn't understand that then. I think I do now. Rude, making the courier wait. Are you some kind of diva? Go see the courier. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them or they will destroy your data and send it back home. <laughs> 